Hey all, welcome back to channel uh, Tech and Art. Hope you guys doing good, safe and sound. So uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, uh, one of the application connectivity issue. So before starting the session, I would request each and everyone please like to subscribe the channel. Uh, please visit the channel playlist. More than 200 videos which can help you all the real best scenarios. And if you are getting help, please contribute YouTube. Thanks and others also others also and you can join as a channel okay. benefit okay so okay. so i would request uh, please visit playlist sql server dba so now we are going to start the session today so let's describe a bit actually so uh, on normally we have seen the after uh, you know doing the failover of ag always on uh, you will you will see the application is not able to connect to the uh, replica uh, so post the failover application connectivity issue is occurring okay so this is the one of the common uh, issue and uh, which we know we, we should know know the exact issue what is the happening actually so basically uh, when your application uh, not able to connect to the post failover so you should check the application connectivity string so if your application is able to, uh, trying to connect the sql server listener so in that case your application string should be updated like multi subnet failover equal to true this parameter need to update in a connection string so uh, what exactly the multi subnet failover equal to true is doing and how it's working so i have described uh, with the uh, four steps and this diagram will help you to easily understand how it's working okay application whenever the application try to connect uh, uh, to sql server instance so so what dns be, so what dns be, so what dns will do basically dns will uh, you know define the all the ips uh, ips uh, uh, for that listener and it will write down all the ips so in this diagram you can see once application sent the request to dns dns will resolve all the ip ip1 ip2 and actually then here actually so what now second steps is doing actually it will start connect trying to connect the parallelly it's a ip1 and ip2 at the same time it will try to connect so whatever the uh, you know uh, will get the connection first it, it will establish the connection and it, it will start working so in that in this diagram you can see in a step 3 ip1 not able to connect uh, the connection it acknowledgement uh, acknowledgement uh, not able to connect you can not able to connect you can not able to connect you can proceed with and you can proceed with ip2 no it's not like that it will right away because parallelly it's trying right so ip2 will start connecting the instance and it will start working the uh, you know, it, it it will start it will start connecting connecting to application okay but whenever the multi subnet failover equal to false so how it will work it will work like you know uh, it will start connecting to ip1 and if it is getting fail it will send the acknowledgement then it will start on connected to ip2 so in that time frame it time out where error will occur so uh, obviously uh, uh, when it will get the connection uh, acknowledgement signal then only it will start in a multi subnet failover equal to false condition so whenever you use the listener your multi subnet failover equal to true should be updated in a connection string so then in that case you will not get the time out error okay so this is the very common very basic but very useful uh, things to you know check whenever you got the connection uh, timeout error from the application side uh, especially post failover so you should check first whether this connection string updated or not this is the very initial check uh, if for the any application timeout error if they are using the listener their connection string should be update multi subnet failover equal to true so hope you got this things uh, how multi subnet failover equal to true is working with a very uh, clear diagram here you can uh, check it and uh, you can understand the uh, you know flow of working uh, this parameter uh, there are some limitation i note on here actually uh, for multi subnet failover equal to true so can go with that you can go with that it's a very basic but very helpful uh, whenever you see the any application will meet soon will meet soon will meet soon will meet soon till then bye soon till then bye bye thank you keep watching keep loving